All right, good morning, guys. Welcome to your unique devotion for the day. I'm so sleepy. <laughs> but that's not going to stop me from doing a little scripture time, because this is important. You'll get the eyeballs rolling, get the ears moving, get the brain moving. It's good stuff. So today, <laughs> I'm reading Hebrews chapter 6, verses 13 through 19. I guarantee there will be a little bit of chocolate cocoa powder in my breakfast. That will help me wake up a little bit. So, scripture most important. This is called God's infallible purpose in Christ. Verse 13. <laughs> See, I need to wake up. For when God made a promise to Abraham, because he could swear by no one greater. He swore by himself, saying, Surely, blessing, I will bless you, and multiplying, I will multiply you. And so, after he had patiently endured, he obtained the promise. For men indeed swear by the greater, and an oath for confirmation is for them, an end of all dispute. Thus God, determining to show more abundantly to the heirs of promise, heirs, not error, but heirs, H-E-I-R-S, the immutability of his counsel, confirmed it by an oath, that by two immutable things, in which it is impossible for God to lie, we might have strong consolation, who have fled for refuge to lay hold of the hope set before us. This hope we have as an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast, and which enters the presence behind the veil, where the forerunner has entered for us, even Jesus, having become high priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. So, yesterday's question because today's question follows through. There's usually themes going on in the Bible. <laughs> I guarantee it. Um, how strong in your, how strong are you in your faith and patience? That was yesterday. So yesterday, going through the day, you find that you need to have faith that things are going to happen, that you're going to make it through the work day, <laughs> and having patience when. For me, machines don't quite work right when um, ideas don't seem to flow very well, having patience to let things work out. So today's question, though, is the same but slightly different. Is there something in your life to patiently endure? Now, you know, yesterday, what, and the question was more based for that specific day, things that you work on through the day. This is more longer term. This is something that is maybe a week, a month, maybe years. You know, is there something that you've been building, that you've been working on, that you've been thinking about that hasn't totally been finished? It's still maybe in concept form, or you're maybe you feel like you're halfway through working on it. Um, you're a different area at different places something that isn't finished yet and maybe you're starting to get a little impatient <laughs> or you've given up on something maybe you need to revisit it and learn to work through it again and look for that patient endurance because at the end when it finally is accomplished your faith stronger. So today, think about, is there something that you need to patiently endure? I'm just going to leave it at that. I hope that God gives you all the blessings you deserve, and even more so all the blessings you don't deserve. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video. Check the D box. Leave comments if you'd like. And um, yeah, that didn't, that didn't go too bad for being so sleepy. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow.